Winter in northern Wisconsin is for the dogs. Sled dogs, that is. For Talia Martins, dog sledding is a family affair. I was born into it. My mom has been doing it for 40 years, so I've mainly been doing it all my life. Bandit. The 17 year old loves to run her Alaskan Huskies. Clark, you want to run lead? The dogs love it too. Yes, you good girl. When we hook up, they get really excited. Come on. Ready? And once we take off, they just go full blast. During the winter months, she does daily training runs on her family's property in Brule. When we first start training, we do five mile runs and those are normally fast. Building up the dog's endurance to prepare them for long distance racing. I do like 20 miles and two hour rest, then another 20 miles and then two hour rest, then 15. And then I just up the miles as the training goes on. They enjoy it a ton. Talia's raised these dogs from birth and trained them to listen to her commands. This one right here, Radar. He's my youngest out of the bunch. For me, being the boss, I have to be firm so they know who's the boss. Most of the time, they listen. Ready? Up, 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 up. Good dogs. They respect me and know who the boss hey. is and they don't test me. Well, they do, but. G, 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 fine. And sometimes it's like herding dogs. Oh, no, oh. G, G, yes. Talia and her Huskies have run races across the upper Midwest. In 2018, she signed up for a new challenge. She spent a month and a half in Alaska training for the Junior Iditarod. Somebody mentioned it to me and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. And I've always wanted to run dogs in Alaska. Here we go. It's a 150 mile race across the Alaskan wilderness over two days, a grueling adventure. It really was hard mentally. It wasn't actually that bad. I thought it was gonna be like really hard, but it actually wasn't but I think the races before really helped me prepare myself for it. Talia finished ninth in 19 hours and 24 minutes. I was so happy. I was ready for a new set of clothes and just a warm bed. <laughs> she enjoyed her first trip to Alaska so much, it might not be her last. And it just really upped my confidence. I want to go up there again and do it over again. It was a lot of fun. There's one catch. Talia turns 18 this year, meaning she's no longer eligible for the junior I did a rod. Next time, she'll have to race against the adults in the world famous I did a rod, a thousand mile race. Honestly, yeah. I could see myself doing it. Until then, Talia and her dogs will be here, out on the trails pushing their way through another Wisconsin winter. But once I get out there, I relax and it's just, it's very fun. <laughs>